Welcome to the show. This is another great edition of Bring It in the House podcast show, where we spotlight musicians, entertainers, artists, and leaders. And of course, I'm your host, Millie Mills. And um, we were scheduled to speak with, um, of course, rapper Kid Jones tonight. And I don't think he's going to make it tonight. So I just wanted to jump on here because, um, you know, and just inform you guys, advise you that um, I guess due to scheduling, he may not be able to make it tonight. So I'm very sorry. I was so looking forward to it. Um, and I'm sure you guys were too. I haven't been able to reach him today. Um, I hope everything is going well with his family. And um, well, I guess what we could do, uh, in case you guys do not know who Kid Jones is, uh, Kid Jones is an Austin native. Yes, he was born and raised right here and he's blown up. He has a lot going on, so much success with his rap career. He started, you know, rapping at a very young age. And so, you know, now uh, he's, he's moved on to bigger and, and better things. So, so sorry. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was really, really looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> really looking forward to speaking with him tonight, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I guess kid is not going to be able to make it, you know, make it tonight. Anyone want to call in on the line? This is going to be like an open show since we're already here. This can be an open show tonight. Um, if you want to call in with any questions or anything like that, if I'm going to have any viewers or not, I'm not sure. But the phone number is 469-284-9922, 469-284-9922. And what struck me about uh, Kid Jones is that um, he was doing a show at the one of the uh, libraries in Austin, the public, Austin Public Libraries on Steck Avenue. And I thought that was very unique because... Uh, you don't see a lot of artists of his stature, you know, give back that type of time and dedication. You know, he could have been doing a lot of other things, but um, I know he's going to be performing on South by Southwest uh, this year. You know, South by is a really big event here in Austin, Texas. You know, artists from all over the world come here to perform. So uh, in case you're just tuning in, thanks for the love. Hey, I got a heart there. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You guys know that we have done over 130 episodes, so we're still trying to go strong. Yeah, so we just wrapped up um, Black History Month. We have a lot to be thankful for. We've had some really exciting guests on the show. In case you're tuning in, um, we um, were scheduled to have MC, singer, songwriter, producer Kid Jones on the show, and unfortunately... He did not make it. I've been trying to get in touch with him and I'm not sure, but uh, we will play one of the videos. Um, the one that really got my attention was Don't Try Me. Uh, Don't Try Me by Kid Jones, guys. He sounds a lot like um, Drake on this one. So I don't know, maybe it's, if it's not too late, maybe we still can can get Kid in here. I don't know because he, you know, again, he has a very busy schedule. But I wanted to introduce you guys to his uh, his single that really got my attention called "Don't Try Me." Let's give it up for our artist, native, superstar producer Kid Jones. I'm bringing How you got all the answers? Got to spend with all the dancers. I've been up since Steve Francis. They were dick for the tantrums. No sis, don't pop better. I'm a pop back with this fan though. No she ain't my only fan. I box fans since Pampers. You don't need no lingerie. You don't need no lingerie. You go. 
gon' be my entree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know you tired of being tight, sis. Know you wanna be tied up with a real one, get white, sis. Know you been getting teed up, been freed up, but life quick. Pull four in a teacup, I been geeked up, little mic, sis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love that song. It gives me a rush. That beat is really nice. I love it. That's Kid uh, Kid Jones, rapper Kid Jones from Austin, Texas. That young man is, um, I can't even say he's going places because he's already gone. <laughs> he's already doing great things. He's going to be performing at South by Southwest. If you know of any artists that are going to be performing on South by, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'll get him, get him on the show and everything. You got any questions, you guys, uh, anything you want to ask me? Uh, hey, jump on the line or I'll try to get you in. Join me some kind of way. 469-284-9922. <laughs> Thank you, Robert, for always chiming in. Yeah. <laughs> you think so, Robert? You think he does sound a little like, a lot like Drake? I think so, too. On that cut. Yes, on that cut in particular. So. Uh, yeah, this is a great night to to be alive. And I'm so thankful, you know, we're coming up uh, this July 8th, 2024 will be four years with Bring It in the House. God is good. You can't believe it's, you know, time is, is come and gone so swiftly. Coming up four years and we're planning on having a dynamic show. So I'm trying to get a lot of local Austin performers on board for the July show. We'll have more than one you know, we want to have at least three or four different artists that can uh, jump on the line, you know, and uh, do their thing during that that segment. We might even have an hour show instead of a 30 minute show. We're thinking of an hour. And um, yeah, coming up July 8th, 2024, four years, bring it in the house. Yeah. Rapper Kid Jones was supposed to be our guest for tonight and he did not make it. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I understand that young man is doing things. He's got a clothing line called Onyx Dior. And we wanted to talk to him about that tonight, about his clothing line that he just launched. Of course, he has a beautiful wife. He has a son. We even have pictures here. We're going to flash real quick. Um, let's see here. We get those pictures pulled up. Uh, this is a picture of Kid Jones' wife and his son there. Beautiful couple. Um, his little son is so cute. And then, um, now there, that's his son. Now see how he's grown. I think they said he was, um, uh, went to say eight or nine. And, um, here's a picture of kid Jones in the studio working hard as always. And this is a picture of kid Jones when he was a little boy, so adorable. And, this is the, uh, oh, excuse me, this is a logo for his clothing line 
Onyx Dior. So if you ever see that, you know, it was established back in 1988. Uh, well, I guess he named it after the community park, Onyx Dior, maybe. We wanted to get some more insight about that, uh, but he's not here to explain um, what happened. Uh, so we're just very excited uh, and sorry at the same time that we you know, weren't able to get him on the line tonight. Um, we got a few minutes left. He still might be able to surprise me and pop in here. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I'm your host, Millie Mills. Uh, this is a show where we spotlight musicians, entertainers, artists, and leaders. In case you're just tuning in, uh, you're like, well, what is this show all about? Mills. Get your meals here. <laughs> kind of rhymes with my name, Millie Mills. But we're talking about getting a, a dose of uh, all kind of different guests, you know, musicians, like I said, entertainers, artists, and leaders, the acronym for MIL. Yeah, this is the first time I slowed down and just really explained to you what the show is all about. So, you know, if you know of any acts that need exposure and like to get on, you know how to reach me. Let me put that phone number back up here for you so you can give us a call and bring it in the house. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, you know, we have a YouTube channel where you can always go back and see some episodes in case you missed. Um, you may have missed a couple of episodes uh, that, you know, someone that was a guest or a featured guest that you love and support. You can always go to Millhouse Entertainment on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Millhouse Entertainment 1748. Millhouse Entertainment 1748. Don't forget to check us out. Okay, so uh, uh, uh. we got another song that we're going to play uh, with, from Kid Jones. It's called Holy Ghost. And all of these songs, are, if I'm not mistaken, can be found on Kid's new album titled Onyx Dior. And this one is called Holy Ghost. We're going to play this um, single and we might wrap up a little early tonight because we don't have a guest. So it's no sense in stalling, <laughs> right? No sense in stalling. But um, let's check out this one from Kid Jones. Uh, this one is called Holy Ghost right here on Bring It In The House. Yeah. No big bro, no big homie. Did it on my own, they gon' have to clone me. Big it on my phone, I've been riding lonely. Heard it all before, you gon' have to show me now Holy Ghost, all these hoes know me Knew me last month and you don't even know me I been in a rush, this shit ain't too slow for me Been drinking in my cup and blow up some more for me You been known to ruin days sometimes Nights don't feel the same without you I'm too grown to be playing sometimes Life don't feel the same without you Pancakes, I skip the handshakes. All this nigga on me, like fam, lay me to translate. Always two sides, like yin yang, sorry. Got a new guy, forget him, name, sorry. But you got a guy like DC, baby. And you're gonna ball like we see, baby. Same, know the vibes, heard all the lies. Won't be too long for you need me, baby. Got it on your own, wasn't peachy. Waited all this long, how you leave me, baby? No big bro, no big homie Did it on my own, they gon' have to clone me Big it on my phone, I've been riding lonely Heard it all before, you gon' have to show me now Holy ghost, all these hoes knows it you Knew me last month and you don't even know me I've been in a rush, this shit ain't too slow for me been Drinking in my cup and blow up some more for me You been known to ruin days sometimes Nights don't feel the same without you I'm too grown to be playing sometimes Life don't feel the same without you Who ordered the pancakes? I skipped the handshakes All this nigga on me like fam, lay need to translate That is one of Kid Jones' singles. It's called Holy Ghost, guys. 
Yeah, that young man is working with a lot, and um, he's right here from Austin, Texas. You can catch him. If you're going to be in town for South by Southwest this year, you can catch Kid Jones and so many more performing on on that big festival. It's going to be huge. It starts next weekend, to my understanding, so um, you don't want to miss it. I had the pleasure to meet Kid, Kid Jones a couple of weeks ago, and it blew me away. I really started, you know, started to follow some of his music and check out you know, his sounds. And I did a lot of um, research and and just found out a lot of great things about him, you know, how long he's been rapping and doing his thing. I wish he was here to to speak for himself, but I think his schedule kind of got a little um, derailed, you know, I mean, had some conflicts in scheduling and I do get it. In case you're tuning in, this young man, Kid Jones, he has, of course, performed South by Southwest, um, Red Bull, uh, the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, um, the NXNE, to name a few. Um, so if he was here, he could tell us a little bit more about all of that. And, you know, Chuck D from the uh, legendary group Public Enemy handpicked him. Um, yeah, he was selected for the uh, Hip Hop Gods Tour in Los Angeles at the uh, Novo, which is formerly known as Club Nokia, and um, and the list goes on. So, um, and then in addition, he performed uh, with Grammy Award singer and blues guitarist Gary Clark Jr. After uh, Gary Clark uh, released his Homecoming album, and um, that I believe things just took off from there. And if you if you follow Kid Jones or read up more about him, you'll see that he has his very own day right here in Austin. The uh, the mayor of Austin named September 1st, Kid Jones Day. So I thought that was pretty cool to receive such recognition like that and at a young age. So sometimes we have to, you know, go to glory. We have to, you know, have to pass or, you know, we're no longer here before we get that kind of recognition. So that's a lot that says a lot about him and his work. So you want to check out his latest album, Onyx, um, Dior, and you can find out more about Kid Jones. So let me see. I believe I have a few giveaways that I'm like, I have some ringing in the house t-shirts. They're like from the second year, our, our second year of being, you know, of having the show, being on air. And so I just lost all my listeners and my viewers. <laughs> but yeah, I got some t-shirts that I want to give away. Uh, you can give me a call at uh, 469-544-9022, 469-544, I'm sorry, this is the number, 469-284-9922. So give me a call if you want one of our t-shirts. We still have some Bring It In The House t-shirts from two years ago. And we're going to be, um, we got some new ones coming up for um, for the four-year anniversary, uh, some Bring It In The House t-shirts. So I'll keep you posted on that and, and other, you know, other goodies that we'll be giving away. Yeah. So uh, you guys um, got anything you want to share with me? You know, just hit me in the comments. Talk to me. I like when you talk to me, you make me feel all lovely. So talk to me in the comments. We only got about 10 or 15 minutes left before I wrap up the show. And it's always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kit Jones is not here. <laughs> you guys got anything you want to share with me? Any birthday shout outs? Let me know. This is what we do. Also, um, in conjunction with bringing in the house, um, I want to give a shout out to my church, Shoreline Church here in Austin. Um, my pastor, Rob Koch, he was on his show like two years ago, but um I've learned a lot from, you know, being a member there and um, they have group leader sessions. So if you're in the Austin area, come on by and see us on Wednesday nights. Um, you, know, you can join a group. I have my own group. It's called For the Love of Christ. And there's several other groups that you can join. They have a sisterhood, uh, a group called Sisterhood. They have a group for grandmothers, for singles. I think that's called 512. Have um, men, men, you know, they have all kind of groups uh, for you to join us, and that's why I love being a member of that church. So uh, feel free to reach out, 
Thank you so much, Robert. Say congratulations on our four year anniversary coming up, bringing in the house. Thank you, LB. Now we got to get Robert on this show. He's been a faithful follower from day one, from the launching of the show. And let me tell you a little bit about Robert Claiborne Jr. Robert is a successful, he's been, he's had every role with Union Pacific, um, um, conductor, foreman, you name it. Robert can do it all. 26 years with UP, that's Union Pacific. So congratulations to you, Robert, for all that you do, all of the, you know, successful father, all, all that career wise, you just all of that in some areas. I got to give a shout out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Congratulations with the launch of your company, Honored Abilities and, and your publishing company, which is a subsidiary of uh, or a sub agent of Honored Abilities. Uh, you know, the launching of your first published book, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adventures of Kiki the Kitten uh, from author Angela Angel. So congratulations on all of that. And, you know, of course, Arias and his VP um, illustrator, uh, Everett Escobar, they'll be on the show next week here on Bringing in the House. So I'm excited to have you guys here and talk about all your success and how your publishing is is, you know, blowing up by storms, uh, taking their, you know, he, he's what they say, taking prisoners, taking names or whatever they say that cliche. But yeah, Arius is doing a great job with that, you know, entrepreneur to his heart. Very intelligent. Go Arius. Robert, yes, you are very welcome. You know, you deserve all that and more. Yes, you are truly, you know, an inspiration to so many men and just people in general. But, you know, because you are a man, I'm sure you you uh, stand and represent um, for a lot of strong males in in society today. And, and that's what we love. Uh, OK, so in case you're just tuning in, this is Millie Mills with Bring It in the House podcast show where we spotlight musicians, entertainers, artists and leaders and of course, this is where you get your meal. You have a little bit of everything. Our guests consist of musicians, like I said, entertainers and more. So uh, feel free to, you know, re um, represent or, you know, recommend uh, a guest to us. If you have time, as somebody who is just on our line. Hey, Arius. Okay, Arius just, um, <laughs> he just sent me the title to the book, uh, it's the first book that um, author Angela Angel uh, published, of course, was Adventures of Kiki the Kitten. And then they they have a second book on the market, The Adventures of Kiki the Kitten. And it looks like here, wait, Kai is King. All right. And it's, it's scheduled to drop any day now. It hit the market any day. Hi, Wayne. There's my classmate, Wayne Wells. Hi, good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really means a lot that you guys showed up tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my guest didn't make it because um, of scheduling. He's very popular and got a lot of shows going on. So big ups to Kid Jones. So sorry you didn't make it in. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. You have four years in the game and, and still trying to make it. Hey, if you guys know of any artists or community leaders that um, you feel like, hey, they need recognition and need to be spotlighted, just go ahead and send them my way, 469-284-9922. Yep, we got about six minutes left in the show. If you guys, um, anything else you want to share with me, feel free to do so, you know. I'll be, you know, holding the line a little bit longer. And before we go, we're going to play that cut by Kid Jones one more time. Don't try me. Okay. Now that's the title of the song. Don't try me. And this is no shade at all. I love Kid, Kid Jones work, but I don't, I don't quite know what he's saying on the song. So that's why I wanted, <laughs> that's why I wanted to get him here tonight. So he could straighten out an old lady like myself to say, Hey, what is this entree? I just, it's something like that. I just love the flow. It is, it's clever how he did that. So 
Kit Jones, we're, you know, hope you're enjoying your evening and everything is going well with you and your family. So you guys, you know, I got, like I, I was saying earlier, we have some uh, t-shirts that are left, the bring it in the house t-shirts. If you guys want uh, to get one, you can feel free to give me a call and I'll be glad to uh, ship one out to you. You got the phone number, right? Leave your name and mailing address, all that good stuff and the size that you, you know, wear, wear that. Um, I mean, leave that in the, uh, on the voicemail. Okay. Okay. Bring it in the house t-shirts. We're trying to get rid of, um, that was for our two year anniversary, the two year anniversary, um, t-shirts. We still have a few left. So we're trying to get, get rid of that. And like I said, if there's any episodes that you like, I, I missed, or, you know, that you got a guest that you really like and follow, uh, check out our YouTube channel. There it is. Millhouse entertainment, one, seven, four, eight. You can just go there. Uh, this show tonight is sponsored by Aesthetics by Ramil. If you haven't seen Ramil, check her out on Instagram, TikTok. That young lady is doing her thing, okay? She does lashes and she does facials as well. But right now, her primary focus is on lashes for the ladies. And then she does that uh, content. She's a content creator. So you'll catch her on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, you know, doing all the different hairstyles with her, her hair and, and, and different wigs and different pieces. She lets you know how the big, you know, the big celebrities do it. She kind of gives you some tips on how just regular every day can get some of those same styles. Everyday people can wear some of those same styles as some of the big celebrities. So check out her YouTube channel, Ramil, and she'll show you how to get it done at fraction, a fraction of the cost. Okay. All right. I guess I've talked. I didn't know I could talk this long. 30 minutes of just me rambling. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you so much. And I really appreciate you guys for, for tuning in. You really made my day. You really don't know how much it means to, you know, just to see that you guys you know, stop by. I know you could be doing anything else, but you decided to come and spend a little time with me. So I appreciate it. We're going to go out with that single yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need no entree. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song by um, Kid Jones, Austin Rapper. And um, we're going to play this last time and you get to hear what I'm talking about. I love this song. Keep it right here. We'll see you back here next Saturday night, 730. Don't miss it. Arius Heard, founder of Honored Abilities, will be our guest. And his VP, his illustrator, the one who created, helped create the whole Kiki the kitten and all of that, they'll be here. So we're gonna let Kid Jones take us out. I'm bringing it. How you got all the answers? Got to spend with all the dancers. I've been up since Steve Francis. They were dick for the tantrums. No, sis, don't pop better. I'ma pop back with this fan door. No, she ain't my only fan. I box fans since Pampers. Know you wanna be tied up with a real one, get wise, sis Know you been getting teed up, been freed up, but life quick Pour four in a teacup, been geeked up, little mic, sis Yeah, yeah, yeah Onyx D, this is runway You gon' get this someday Pay times every Sunday You gon' get this someday Could've died off gunplay You gon' get this someday Die starts on Monday You gon' get there someday I'm switching lanes The car is candy, shawty won't lick the pain She gripping me while I'm gripping grain Our chemistry like, yeah, 
tell the 